Today in the first reading, St. Paul is upset because he has heard that when the Corinthians have trouble against themselves, instead of seeking a fellow Christian to help them solve the dispute, they're going to pagan tribunals. But he says something very interesting that I want to comment on. He says, in any case, it is already a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. So he says, yes, you shouldn't be going to the pagans, but it's already a failure that you would be disputing and coming into difficulties and lawsuits against one another. And then he says something very challenging. He says, why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? And this makes me think about how often when we have a disagreement with someone, we want to be the person who's right. We want to win the argument. We want to come out as the winners of the argument. We want to be the person who is right. We want to have the last word. We want to be the winner in every single dispute. Sometimes this happens between spouses. Sometimes this happens between co-workers. Sometimes this happens between siblings. Everyone wants to be the right one. The one who comes out as a winner of the argument. But Paul is reminding us that a true Christian atti attitude is completely different. It doesn't mean that we are people who are pushovers. It doesn't mean that we cannot stand for ourselves. It just means that having the capacity to stand for yourself and be assertive, you understand that the right attitude is not always wanting to be right and wanting to have the last word, but the right attitude is sometimes allowing yourself to shut up and let your other person win the argument. He says, will you not rather put up with injustice? Will you not rather let yourself be cheated? So today, brothers and sisters, let us be reminded that the true virtue is not winning the argument. That the true virtue is not always being right. But the true virtue is seeking peace and unity, not by being a pushover, but just by understanding that sometimes it's good to suffer injustice.